All right. We're gonna play first. I've never seen this guy. Handsome looking goblin. Squee, that's squee, okay. Um, keep that hand, that looks great. Now, do I lead with the shock land? I think I'm gonna need, this hand's a little heavy on blue, so I could probably fetch island and play mausoleum wanderer. However, I'm gonna need to shock that in at some point anyway, so I'm gonna go for it, especially with my opponent mulling down to five. If he's on burn, he's not gonna have a fast clock with that many cards. Uli Uli. Mausoleum Wanderer is incredibly decent against Burn, too, especially if they're going to try to point like a Searing Blaze at one of your creatures. If they point a Searing Blaze at Mausoleum Wanderer, you can sacrifice it to counter the spell and get him out of the way of the Blaze in the first place, or Searing Blood. Um, black and red. A lot of possibilities for black and red. There's another Wanderer. Mm. We're gonna save the uh, surprise. I think it's not worth one damage to uh, put that rattle chains into play now. But I will fetch. And we're gonna grab. Let's get an island. Yeah, because I can get a temple garden with the windswept keep then. Though the Searing Blaze comment, I think one of the two... Okay, he's going to burn that out. That will work. One of the two, if he... Um, if he targets a creature and it loses the target, I think it still will deal the three damage to you. But I have to check on that. Don't quote me on that one. All right. Uh, playing the Drog Skull Captain. I think that's right. We need a shock. We need to just get a forest at this point. Alright, here comes another bolt. Okay, cool. Alright, so now I've got counter a spell unless my opponent pays two on his turn. Which should be enough to protect that captain. Unless, of course, he's, he plays a land and has a bolt or push. If that's the case, dropping the second Drog Skull Captain will should pretty much lock things up against a creature removal deck like he's got. Liliana would be tough. There's a Liliana. Okay, Colgon's command. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna deal with that. Especially since we've got another captain. Okay, well, we could flash in Rattle Chains and Mausoleum Wanderer. Um, I think we just go for the, the Captain Lock here. Liliana would be trouble, though. No whammies. I mean, if it makes me sacrifice a creature, I've got another creature to strike Liliana down, though. All right, Inquisition, what's that going to take? My Rattle Chains, probably. Noble's pretty worthless at this point in the game. Okay, Mausoleum Wanderer. Okay, well, <laughs> there's a reason why I might want a Noble, so we'll play the, uh, the quote-unquote land. And, um... Get in there for six. If 
feels good, so good to have a deck that is just that difficult to interact with versus a like an attrition style deck like this. If you can get that lock on, which there are six functional copies with the phantasmal images, um, not a lot of outs for your opponent. Okay, let's see. If this is Mardu Pyromancer, we're going to want a Remorseful Cleric and probably rest in peace. So we're going to try those guys. Um, engineered Explosives will be useful against an army of tokens. Mostly because we don't want to die to them. But we're not terribly worried about them blocking since all of our creatures have flying. Path to Exile is necessary. Bedlam Reveler is a card. We could probably shave one though. Um, spirits are going to be good. Thalia is going to be good. We want her. Let's see. What can we cut? Gotta get rid of four cards. You know, I think we cut the mana dorks in this situation. I mean, completely off base, but I don't want to commit a card to a mana dork versus a deck that's playing, like, Thought Season Inquisition. Because if I spend my turn one playing a mana dork, that's one like gas card that I don't have in my hand anymore. So if you totally disagree with me, leave a comment below. Tell me why I'm wrong. But we're going to give it a shot and roll with this. I like Geist in this situation. I've only got the one Geist in the main, but I think that's pretty good here. Rock Swarm Monk might be decent too because he's just like a great way to outclass his creatures and functionally like takes care of four, uh, four of his Pyromancer tokens in one. So maybe we'll put that in in place of a Queller. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we give it a shot. Unified Will may be right too, but once again, with all the tokens floating around, if he's actually on Pyromancer, we might not have more creatures. No, oh, that's a good hand. I have a German Mausoleum Wanderer. And the name Mausoleum Wanderer is exactly the same with no space in between. It's just one word, Mausoleum Wanderer. So if you're interested in some really cool foreign versions of cards, I would highly recommend German Mausoleum Wanderer. I bet he gets the spirit. Oh, rattle chains. Okay. <laughs> really, all the all the creatures that this deck plays are just solid against uh, Pyromancer. Rattle chains has so much to offer. Having flash, if you've got one creature card in your hand or two cards in your hand and only one of them's a creature, um, and you, they cast an Inquisition and Kozilek, like you can flash it in to completely blank that discard spell at times, which is kind of cool. Same effect as just like playing it outright. However, if you flash it into play, you've forced them to use their discard spell to find out what it is. All right, we're gonna try that spirit now. I didn't want to draw another land there, that's for sure. But a nice to find a three drop, but we'll make it work. And my opponent missed a land drop too. That's gonna make our Mausoleum Wanderers that much better. Maybe countering that was the right move. Creature. There we go. Alright, so I've, I've set up the situation where he can play a discard spell and just completely be blown out by rattle chains coming into play at this point. He can also play a removal spell and completely be blown out by rattle chains, so the situation's looking pretty pretty nice for us. Now here's where I risk the fetch. I think uh, I want to keep this clock moving, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that. That should have been a hollowed fountain. I screwed that up, of course, but okay. Let's 
explosives. Interesting. Um, I think we can hold on to the explosives. If it was a card worth playing, I have four mana, that's the top of my curve. He would expect it to be a spirit that I could flash in, or a collective company that I could play at instant speed, so I don't think he's incentivized to play a discard spell at this point in the game. Um, <laughs> with the mana screw that he's got going on right now, he's gonna have to use all of his resources to kill my creature so he doesn't just straight out die. Now, Lord would be not lethal, but pretty damn close to it. Uh, there's a collected company. That's good. We should. We gotta go for it. If I can find two Lords, that'll do it. We even bait a removal spell before. Oh, okay. Uh, remorseful cleric and Thalia. Cool. <laughs> Thalia is pretty brutal at this point in the game. All right, we won. Yeah, um, this deck can certainly punish slow starts. It has this kind of taxing effect, sort of like the uh, Death and Taxes, um, especially when you board into Thalia's, but the Mausoleum Wanderers do a really good impression of that. Um, I think that this is probably a good matchup for us. It's hard to say. I think that um, Blood Moon could just tear us apart if cast, um, like if they're on the, the play and he's able to do it before I can find all my basics and have enough creatures out to disrupt it. Um, but... Generally speaking, I'd say that we're probably favored in this matchup based on that experience. And I know that wasn't a great one. My opponent mauled the five and then got land screwed. But um, just just kind of thinking about how our, all our cards pair up with his. So. All right, going on to game 